Okay, so today's battle is between the Ankylosaurus and Indoraptor. Let's get into this. So, Indoraptor, when standing on all fours, is 8 feet tall, but when standing up on its hind legs, 12 feet, 12 feet tall. It was 26 feet long and weighed and weighed about a ton, and weighs a, weighs a, weighs about a ton. And was manufactured in the Lockwood Lockwood Estate. It was made in the Lockwood Estate. I mean, anyway, in Kylosaurus, tw- twenty six to thirty six feet long, four to six feet no, four to six feet tall. No, yeah, Ill, Oh my God, four to six feet tall. Was thirty, was twenty six to thirty six feet long, weighed about four to six tons. It lived in North America. Compare their weapons. So when it comes to jaws versus the tail club, tail club got this. I mean, the Indoraptor could be charging towards the Ankylosaurus and, well, get whacked in the face and break his jaw. Yeah. The Indoraptor, on the other hand, has a lot more weapons, like its jaws and tail claws, and Ankylosaurus pretty, has, pretty much has nothing. So... Okay. One thing I'm saying, oh yeah, X-Factor. So the Indoraptor's X factors are is that it can blend in with the, in the dark and I um has night vision very smart yeah very stealthy as well but not at times no most of the time it's not that stealthy now Ankylosaurus is basically armored. On the top, but not for the bottom. Even his eyelids are armored. Okay, now let's fight. Out comes a piece of the shadow. Out comes the Indoraptor, the reigning champion in this arena so far. The people go wild, cheering. Whoa! We're gonna see a person get ripped apart. And then out comes this. In this dinosaur tank thing like well what is that that's gonna be the competitor ankylosaurus okay i guess the ankylosaurus is just crazy and the people underestimate it so the indoraptor sees him as food so he charges and knocks him and tries to get him to bite Breaks the tooth. The Indoraptor backs off. Now he knows that he has armor. The Ankylosaurus slams his tail club onto the ground and waves it around the air, not showing that he's not afraid to fucking fight. The Indoraptor slash then quickly jumps in and slashes one of the Ankylosaurus' legs, bleeding him out and making him fall at a slanted angle. But the Ankylosaurus knows what he's doing, so he readies, readies his tail. Then the Indoraptor jumps to the other side and goes for a bite to the neck, but then the Indoraptor jumps back and roars in pain. His whole freaking arm just got whacked by the Ankylosaurus' tail. And it's broken. All of it is broken. He can't even walk on that arm now. The people are amazed and are in awe, dumbfounded, that this tank can take down and rival this thing, rival the Indoraptor. The Indoraptor circles around, jumps. Jumps, so the Indoraptor jumps and scrapes his back, the Ankylosaurus's back, and tries to bite into it harder, but it's not working. The Ankylosaurus throws the Indoraptor off of him, sending him 20 feet away and, and, to, and 10 feet in the air. 
they kind of you no. Know, the interactor sl- gets slammed in you no know, slams into the arena wall, mo- stunning him for like thirty seconds. That's when the people just are silent, and that's when the Indoraptor gets up, roars, and charges. Apparently, he did not know, it's, didn't didn't learn his lesson. So he jumps, slashes at the Kylosaurus's face, but it's all right because its eyelids are freaking protected. That's when the Kylosaurus turns turns to swing and breaks the other arm. The other arm that's not broken. The Indoraptor just falls down on slanted downwards angle. He can't get up but just stand. The Ankylosaurus roars and ready to t- The Indoraptor is forced to stand up like a freaking human. He just sl- He can't really fight anymore. That's when the Ankylosaurus charges, knocks him over, charges and knocks him over. He's, the Indoraptor is not fast when it comes to, when it comes to, like, um, when it comes to, um, walking on two legs. I mean, he's his arms with balance, you know. Okay, so, anyways, the, the Indoraptor gets, fo- gets knocked over. The, the Ankylosaurus makes a sharp U-turn, almost making it fall over, but he still runs. The Indoraptor, as he's trying to get up, the Ankylosaurus raises his tail club and slams it down on the Indoraptor's neck, breaking the, his freaking neck bones. The Indoraptor just slumps, slumps down to the ground, dead. He's lifeless. The crowd cheers as this Ankylosaurus freaking won against the reigning champion. The crowd goes wild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, but anyway, the winner is the Ankylosaurus. So, verdict. I think the Ankylosaurus will win 61% of the time. I think that it would be like... Like, um, so yeah, um, it's just a lot more armored and heavier, and plus it's more stable when it's when you're short to the ground, you know. But who do you think would have won a fight between an Indoraptor and an Ankylosaurus? Leave your comments down below if you want to suggest a fight go ahead make sure to make sure to subscribe and like turn on notifications to share i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye